What's going on everybody? Psycho Red here bringing you some Venom movie news. Now, if you didn't already, Sony just recently announced they're going to be producing their own Venom solo movie, which will come out as October 5th of 2018. Now, what's interesting about this release date is that this was the original release date for the Aquaman movie from Warner Brothers, but they went ahead and pushed that movie back to December, and so Sony um, got the slot for the Venom movie. Now, right off the bat, what you need to know about this movie is that it's not going to have any ties to the MCU. Um, that That is official, but um, what I also read is that it could be connected to the Amazing Spider-Man series. Now, the Amazing Spider-Man series was canceled um, shortly after the release of the Amazing Spider-Man 2, which ultimately led to the deal between Marvel and Sony to have Spider-Man join the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, based on the fact that the series was canceled, m leads me to believe that this report is totally false. But, um, I mean, we'll see what happens, I guess. Um, but now to the next topic of this video, um, I want to talk about the movie Life. Now, the movie Life stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Ryan Reynolds and just recently got released at theaters. And a lot of people are believing that this could be a prequel to Venom. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably already getting confused. How can this be? I thought the same thing, too. And so I went ahead and researched this topic. And I found some reasons why people are believing this is a prequel. The first reason is that the trailer for life reuses a shot from Spider-Man 3, which would all put up on the screen for you to look at. And, of course, you can kind of see a little bit different color grading and a few added faces, but it is, in, it is indeed the same shot from Spider-Man 3. And the second reason is that um, we all know that the Venom symbiote comes from space, and in the movie Life, they're astronauts in space who come in contact with an alien life form. This leads people to believe that maybe the alien life form they're dealing with is in fact the Venom symbiote or something related to the Venom symbiote. Now the third reason behind this theory is that the writers for life are actually working on the Venom movie and one of the writers himself said this is one of the reasons why people are believing that it's a prequel is because they're working on both life and Venom. Now the fourth reason is that the announcement that Sony made regarding the Venom movie coming out came right before the release of Life. And so if Life, if Life is a prequel to Venom, then announcing the Venom movie right before the release of Life kind of makes sense. So these are just pretty much the main reasons why people are, are beginning to believe that Life is a prequel to Venom. Now, you know, decide what you want. Um, I'm not going to say yes or no. If it is, then I guess cool. If it isn't, then okay. But um, now to move on to my concerns about this movie, right off the bat, it's Sony. Although I did like The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2, the way they began to handle the universe was kind of um, a choppy, I guess you can say. You know, they started re um, announcing all these different movies, even an anime solo movie. So I don't, I don't think Sony has the right leadership or direction to handle a universe. So if it is separate from the MCU, then they're going to be making other decisions on their own. And that could possibly lead to faults in the universe. And another reason... I'm kind of concerned about this movie is that they already did Venom once in Spider-Man 3 and it was not good. Um, the guy who played Eddie Brock, um, which is the actor from that 70s show, I'm, I forgot his name, but he didn't really fit the persona of Eddie Brock and the build and everything and you know, it was just totally rushed and to kill off Venom after what, 20, 30 minutes of being in the movie just wasn't the right decision. So I would really hate to see Venom done wrong again on the big screen, especially because he's one of my favorite combo characters and I really want the best for the character. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. That's all the news we have regarding the Venom movie. Now in the comments below, um, go, ahead and go ahead and leave a comment. Tell us, you know, are you excited? Are you not excited? Do you, do you think this is the right move for Sony or do you think the the movie should be connected to the MCU. Personally, I do believe it should be connected to the MCU mainly because it's Venom, and I mean, how can you have um, Venom and you know, no Spidey? You know, you know they need each other. You know, they're, they're just a big part of each other's lives, and so I don't think this is the right move for Sony. But you know, we are gonna get the movie. It's gonna come out. Um, Beam comic book fans, all of us, we're gonna go watch it. And I guess all we can do is hope for the best. And um, as more news comes out, we'll go ahead and do videos regarding it and keep you updated. So thank you guys for checking out this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you if you want to, and go ahead and have a good day. Thanks guys.